solemnly pledge myself before God to pass my life in purity, to practice my profession faithfully, to endeavor with loyalty, to assist the physician in his work, to devote myself to the welfare of those patients committed to my care. That's the oath I took, Senator. Just like the doctors do, I took an oath, the nurse's oath. You have to understand, nursing was my life. We do understand and respect that, Miss Evans. And uh, we do appreciate very much your testifying before us today. I hope you understand that the sole purpose of this committee is to discover the truth about the public health service program commonly called the Tuskegee Study. That's what we all want, sir. Good. Now, I understand you worked on the program from the beginning. From the very first in 1932, up until I retired a few years ago, nearly 40 years. Oh, That's longer than I've been in the Senate. <laughs> Tell me, Miss Evans, how did you feel about the study? Our patients got the best doctrine they ever had in their life. But according to the testimony so far, Miss Evers, there are ways in which this study sounds like some sort of Nazi experiment. Was established at Nuremberg that experimentation you did the without informed. You could, whatever. There was an epidemic with all that syphilis going around. Senator, life was always hard in Macon County, but the depression made it worse. You just have no idea what it was like down there back then. We've heard a lot of testimony, Miss Evers, from some of the patients, from other nurses, and from your supervisor, Dr. Brodus. Dr. Brodus is a fine doctor who cared, Senator. I don't care what y'all say about him now. I was honored to serve under that man. Are we just gonna let him choke to death? But what do you suggest, nurse? We've tried digitals, we've tried mercurial diuretics. Maybe I should just cut them open and drain them. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take it out. It was a farming accident, wasn't it? Yeah. He was plowing the mule, got away from him, kicked him, crushed his chest. His heart just won't work. 
Is that fluid on the pericardium? I'll have to notify his parents. What made you think, boy, that you were old enough to handle a mule? This bed clothes are wet. I'm going to get dry ones. No. No, wait a minute. Get away from him. What? Chris, I want you to get me a syringe with a large bore needle. Now! What did I say? Cut him open and drain him? Maybe I knew what I was talking about. Now, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna hurt you, son. I just wanna take a look at your chest. That's all. I just wanna take a look. And you... take Nurse Ever's hand. Yes. And you squeeze it tight. You can't hurt me. You don't get much of a chance to hold on to a pretty lady's hand like that, now do you? Now, I'm not gonna hurt you, son. And my nurse. No, doctor. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. You gotta trust the doctor. Boy. You trust him and you'll be up and around in no time. That's true. I don't want you with that mule no more. What's that mule's name? Hang on. What's his name? You don't have white like doctors at Tuskegee. Well, the way you've been carrying on. Come on, what baby. Carrying on. I was just being appreciative. He saved that boy's life. Well, what's he supposed he took a... to do? He's a doctor. Ain't he? Wait on people doing what they're supposed to do and see how long you wait. You always did like saving people. I didn't save Dr. Broder, save him. I was only doing my nursing job. Not to be saying only, Lisa. You're a nurse. That's more than just a job, so don't you go making light of it. I'm not, Papa. Unless you want to end up cleaning some white lady's toilet like your mama had to do all no, of her life. No, I have had my share of that. Hammer be out in 10 minutes. We didn't slave to send you to a nursing school for that kind of life. No, Papa, you did not. All right, then. All right, then. Come in. Yes, Doctor. Oh, good, Nurse Evers. Are you still checked out to drive the district office car? I've got a new job for you. You need me to go somewhere? If we hurry, we can uh, we can make it on time. There's somebody very important that we have to pick up on the bus. Trip? Yes, I did. Welcome to Tuskegee. How are you? Fine. It's your pleasure seeing you. You too. Uh, bags? Oh, yes. Here. Uh, let me give you a hand. Thank you. Sure. Oh, I forgot my manners. Dr. Douglas, Nurse Evers. I do. It's a pleasure. Yes, sir. Dr. Douglas, I think you're going to find that Nurse Evers will be a tremendous...